Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to another video. I think I did some stuff off camera. Oh, I am so confused. <laughs> oh no, we're getting the uh, the screen shakies again. So I think I'm going to go... Oh, I remember what I was doing now. I want to get some M <laughs> some of the, the MP, um, HP up material. Yes. No, Which is the... That's the wrong person. And I'm also going to use the... I really dislike this particular staircase. Gets me... And this bit up here gets me every time. There we go. It's like a bit you can get stuck on up there for some reason. So where's the material shop? Is it here? <laughs> yes. Right. So I want a HP up. And then I need to try and get some money. Um, am I going to use atomic scissors? Probably not. And then we'll get another HP up. Right, so that's two, hopefully. Oh my god, we're going to have to reload the save. Um, in that case, Aerith's got MP up. She can also have HP up as well, can't she? And Cloud does not, does not have a huge amount. But. I'm going to take off that, actually. I'm going to take off Steel as well. And I'm going to put... Oh, I do want to use Death Blow as well. It's just, there's so much materia to equip and not enough things to equip. Oh, I've not got cover even now. Okay, well maybe Tifa will have to have cover. And she's going to have to have steel. I'm not getting death blow up at all. But uh, I guess that's fine for now. Can hardly complain when I've got no gill. I've got enough for the inn. 172, I think I do. And the inn is... Mm. Hmm. The inn somewhere. I mean, as you would expect, it's somewhere. I think it is. It near the bar. I want to say. Ah, my work here that way. I was, to be fair, hadn't thought about it, but should I be returning to Fort Condor? And that may, I don't know, I haven't got enough money. <laughs> so I'd have to, I'd basically just have to fight them, effectively. But I guess, I mean, they're going to be tough, but I guess I could beat the... Welcome, it's half yeah, go on then. So yes, I'm not sure if I should go go to Fort Condor or not. It's a bit of a a trek though. Um, oh, an elixir, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a trek. But I do want to get the materia at the end of it, so. Hmm. And I already know the weaponsmith isn't there. Uh, decisions, decisions. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Because Fort Condor means I have to go all the way back. You know what? I'm going to do it. And... I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to make the trip, go to Fort Condor, and we will start it again. Okay, so made it to Fort Condor. Um, I've got a very meager amount of gil, about 2,000 gil, from the battles that I fought along the way. But 
you know, look, I'm not too bothered. We'll do the, the we'll do the presumably the battle, but we'll do the battle and we'll get healed up before and after. Um, and I'll just straight fight the commander, I suppose. Uh, I don't imagine. Well, I shouldn't lose, even though the. Hey. It, mm. it, mm, it is like a bit more of a tricky, tricky battle, I suppose. But having said that, you know, we've got the the HP up and I've got a couple of semi-decent combos in the party. Oh, that's actually a little bit more than I thought. 2,600. 2, Not really enough, though, it must be said. Um... And because I've saved, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll get spanked. I'm hoping not, however. One can never know. What great timing. No, oh, all right, let's do it. Okay, ready. Make a contribution. Let them handle. Hear instruction. Let me. Okay. Hey, don't you think you're a little short? We need more gill. Are you ready? Okay, ready. Hey, don't you think you're... Oh, I need more 4,000 more gill. So the game is not the game has got a a fix that stops me from that's cheeky isn't it gosh i'm gonna have to sell some stuff now do your best or does that mean that yeah i'm not really sure what it means have 4,000 gil, or does that mean I need 4,000 gil more? I sort of read it as needing 4,000 gil more, but one can never tell. None of these items are, I mean, worth anything either. I have to sell some high potions. If I sell... Okay, so I'll get myself up to 4,000 gil. Then we'll see what the guy's got to say. Because I'm not, I'm still not planning on spending my gill. I'm going to keep my gill. And instead of using my gill, I'm going to use my prowess in battle. What great. Okay. Around 30 enemies, they'll probably use O, and you can now use bomb catap. No, oh, nice bomb catapults. All right. Let's go. I mean, bomb catapult sounds fun. That was called a fire catapult. 600 gills. Goodness. Oh, things I do for the condor on top of the reactor. It's a very strange setup, isn't it? And I never really understood what this was supposed to look like as a kid, which I think is quite... One, quite funny, but two, actually makes perfect sense because it's not obvious what it is. Um, what am I going to do? I am going to speed things up a little bit because I can. Once I remember how it's done. Um, oh, okay, I can only double the input. That's fine, though. One of the advantages of using the mods, I suppose. Why would you take such an indirect route? <laughs> Part of me is slightly concerned that this fight is going to be um, insanely difficult. And I don't know that there is, but I imagine that there's probably some sort of modifier. Once again, could be... My God, it's all up. Could be way off base. But anyway, we'll see. Oh, it just looks like it's the normal guy. He says, unaware of the of the hellfire that's about to, about to come down on me. Um, although I can try using seal evil, to be fair. In fact, we will. We will try it and see how far it gets us. just gonna like, hit it 
Don't stop now. Indiscriminately of everything that I've got. Which unfortunately is mainly Choco Mug. <laughs> uh. It's four, six, four, it's not too bad. I'm not sure it's any better than a normal attack though <laughs> at this point, but Oh no, it has stopped him. I can't look out if that's um Eris move or or my move. But in any case, let's give it can you handle just, this? Just gonna give everything I've got. We've got Titan, haven't we? We'll use Titan. Uh, see how much damage this is. 1500? That's not too bad. We'll go with that as well. I guess the question for me is Was the enemy stopped by Chokamog or was it stopped by Aerith? Aeris one seems to have a much higher percentage chance, I guess. So it stands to reason that might be the case. But yes, absolutely smashed the commander. No problem whatsoever. Looks like we're in the clear. Shouldn't we don't know when they'll send the Everything's fine. Do you have any Tell me about the enemy. You did explain anything else? That's enough. How do I win? Yeah. Everything's fine. Do you have any? If you wipe out the enemy, or if you defeat the commanding op, if the enemy reaches this shack, you'll... if you lose that battle, we'll probably. Do you have any? Okay. Tell me about the end. You'd expand that. So it wasn't completely fruitless, but um, I guess my less than traditional way of going about fighting this battle because I want to keep my gill. Um, this may be slightly against the grain. But yeah, no, that, that was all, I guess, pretty anticlimactic. So I'm going to rest up hey. and mm. I'm going to make my way all the way back to where we were, Cosmo Canyon, and then we'll carry on with the main story. So another pause, but I'll be back with you instantaneously. Okay, so I've decided to come back to the Golden Saucer because I wasn't aware what was available in terms of prizes and things. Um... And yeah. I've done like three rounds, and Cloud's been kicking ass. I got through all st all the stages, um, and I was wondering whether it's worth getting the champion belt. I mean, it's actually pretty good, but I've decided not to, um, and instead, I thought I would settle for just getting the preemptive material. But obviously, I got quite a few. I managed to get the preemptive material in that one uh, round. I'm not really sure what the stuff's based on, but anyway, so I'm gonna get that, and then I've got eight thousand. And then I've got 8,000 points as well to spend, because I have yeah. to spend them. Uh, some stuff did cost me a little bit in terms of uh, uh, having to use items and things to get through it. But I don't know what the Fury Ring does, but I suggest I get that as well. I don't know if that just does Berserk or not. But, okay, sure. Uh, so I've got 5,000 points. I know you just came here because, like I said, I wasn't sure what I could, could couldn't use. Do I want another? I guess I could get enemy lure. I don't really plan on using that one. That seems like a, a materia that I don't fancy using. Uh, so that one's nearly up. Oh yeah, I'm using them. Working on a lot of my all materia here without any real um, aim. So let's take that one off. And then we could give preemptive? Just plus two dexterity, which is pretty cool. And then... Minus one. I don't know why. There's maybe there's a reason I wanted enemy lure at some point. I've got it now anyway. Um, but yeah, so effectively I came here only for the preemptive materia. Um, don't know if the speed up one is really worth it. Maybe it is. It's quite expensive, so you would sort of hope so. Um, but yeah, there's all my GP gone and obviously all my BP because I've spent it all. I didn't see what the Fury does actually. Yeah, so automatically puts you in Berserk. Which is fine, I guess. Um, Berserk has its, has its advantages, of course. But I'm just not sure. Necessarily where that would come in handy too much. But yeah. 
I've got it now. I suppose I could always sell it if need be. Assume it's actually worth anything. So, yeah, a slight detour, or a fairly long detour, actually. But, you know, I figured, why the heck not? And I've always been playing this for, like, well over an hour now, and um, minutes into the episode. But still, I'm enjoying it, which is the main thing. So we'll check up on the Weaponsmith House. I'm fairly certain that I've already been there and ascertained that it's not available for me right now. Let's see if I can escape. I don't particularly want to fight these guys. I mean, ultimately, you take too long and I'm, I'm going to fight you. So. Where is that? Uh, Matra Magic helped out quite a lot in the Clouds battles. Uh, you watching? Venus Cloud was pretty resilient um, to a lot of stuff. I had a couple of favourable uh, ones as oh, well, and a couple of unfavourable ones, but yeah. A couple of favourable spins of the wheel, uh, mainly due to my HP and MP being halved. Oh, nice. Um, but it wasn't actually a problem because... Um, let's move him on to limit break level 3. It wasn't a problem because by the time it decided to half, or by the time I'd got something that halved it, I was already well on my way to having, um, you know, got down to half HP or half MP or whatever it is. So, so it turned out to be a bit, a bit of a free roll, although it obviously meant I couldn't heal back up. Um, and I didn't use any ethers at all at any point. I did use a couple of high potions, will admit, on my three or four runs or whatever it was. This is seeming to increase the enemy's uh, uh, preemptive attack as well. But anyway. So Cloud has now, in a, in a fashion, been reunited with his supposed preemptive attack. Um. In Nibelheim, which is, of course is one of the little Easter eggs as to looks like no. Okay, no, sorry. Um, one of the little Easter eggs as to why, um, why or how, how Cloud was able to get the drop on uh, Sephiroth. Apparently, very, very cool. Well, I haven't said that, I've had more preemptive attacks now than I've had um, up until this point. So maybe I shouldn't be complaining too much. And we're fairly close to another level up as well. So, yes. Not sure my trip to the Golden Saucer was strictly necessary. But it has seemingly paid me some dividends, so I'm pretty pleased. And then we'll have to go go back in a little bit and probably do some more fighting, although obviously the level of enemies will also increase on the next one, but um, there's some really cool stuff through there if, if I can get my hands on it. That's well worth getting. I think there's like the final attack material and that kind of stuff, which yeah, no one can really grumble at. That's a sort of that's the sort of thing that you want, so, or, and possibly require in order to be able to beat some of the optional stuff later on. So, yeah. Made my long winded way of saying we're absolutely definitely going to be going back and getting ourselves. Oh, gosh. Getting ourselves, uh, yeah, the you watching? battle point prizes. Oh, a miss. Oh, not very good. A bit concerning, actually. Oh, hit, hit, miss. That's disappointing. Time to get serious. Well, you can't, you can't let them, uh, you can't let them get the, too many attacks off. You gotta stamp them out. Okay, my all's leveled up, and my characters are leveled up, so that's also good. 
I probably do as well need to find a reliable merchant at some point to stock up on just items, a couple of items per se. Because I, like I, said, I went through a few of them in that last go at, go at it. Uh, let's go Finish chuck them off. It. Why not? Not one to waste my MP, but then, you know, you got a bit of fun. So. Give him your oh, I think I actually stopped two of them. And Shiva should, should finish all these off. I'm hopeful, anyway. You've got to think, though, that like you've got Aqualung, which is a really powerful attack, does like a thousand damage ish. And then you've got uh, Beta as well, or, or Beta, whatever you want to call it, um, that does, you know, close to a thousand. And it's they're like the same MP cost as some of the summons. <laughs> so it becomes a little, it starts to become less viable. Which is interesting. Um, oh. oh, I didn't realise it was. It was this time already. Okay, well. There you go. I thought, actually, we had Rocket Town first. Don't ask me why I thought that, but I Got did. It. Oh, a Lucy Nut. I'm going to need them for later, so I'm not going to complain about that at all. Didn't realise these guys had them. Almost had, had it! Yes, the level of enemies has definitely, in terms of HP anyway, oh, so close. has definitely picked up here. Ooh, critical, 886. Doing serious damage. So yes, this is the nibble of the Heim. And an interesting point to be at, actually, here. But there you go. Here we are. Cloud and Tifa's hometown. Huh? But it all burned down. Yeah. Then how is this possible? My house is still here, too. Something's... I was telling the truth. Mm. Mm -hmm. I remember the intense heat of the flames. Oh, and here's the uh, clooped people uh, as well. Oh, nice. Mind source. Thank you. Great. Is it, I was about to say, is there somewhere else I should be going? Um, probably. Dong. Incredible. I love the Shinra Mansion. Do you know why I love the Shinra Mansion? Specifically, why I love this. And it's not because of this guy here. Um, although, if that's what you thought, then that's also fine. But it's not true. I don't really like this guy on the... Uh, uh, I seem to remember. He has a very not nice attack, which uh, I'm a little bit scared about, and he's not done anything yet. And now... Oh. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that will be it, won't it? Okay. Thank goodness. And it's weird how the chain still stays there as well. Yeah, I don't know. No, that's the wrong way. I think it's this way. There's only one thing in here that I'm really bothered about. I don't know. Yeah, main story, blah, 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 blah. You know, Sephiroth, all that good stuff. What is that? Is that uh, for Barrett? Enemy launcher. It is. Okay. So, because uh, I'm not going to be doing this particular quest well like side questing I am gonna look it up because it never changes and um, and yeah that's it I have a bad feeling about this well I don't I have a very good feeling <laughs>
Boom. Success. And now... Oh my goodness me. Wow. Yes, now I'm slightly concerned that this boss may be beyond me. Um, I am going to use Big Guard, though. I think that's a Don't good... Give up. That's a good, good jumping off point. Uh, for sure. And then I'm going to hit him with a... Beta. I hope he's not got an enemy skill that I would want. Or need, I suppose. I imagine I can probably do without that. Nothing worthwhile. Oh, nothing there. Okay, well, let's Blend give you one strength. of these then. And then what am I going to go for now, I guess, is the big question. I've only got Choco Mog. I've got Thunder. I've got Poison. Didn't see how much damage that did. Yeah, while you can. It's not paying attention. So much damage this does before I decide what I'm gonna do next. Uh. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice miss. Not so nice. I may as well use. Might be a bit overkill. Alrighty uh, then. Shall I go? Shall I try and do poison? I got you Oh, it did work, actually. I'm going to class... I'm going to chalk that one up as a win. Oh. Oh, we've morphed. Uh, I could try laser, yeah, although I sort of get the feeling that's maybe not going to work. for the whistle. That was probably quite loud. Um, <laughs> that did a lot of damage, actually. The poison. Which, um, actually, kind of... Oh, my goodness me. Kind of worries me, because that probably means it's got a heck of a lot of health. Ooh. You're gonna feel this one. Okay, I could go for an aqua lung, and then I'm thinking a titan, because... Oh, wow, I need to... We'll make it quick. Um, yeah, I'm sort of running out of ideas now. <laughs> Death sentence isn't going to work, so that's a waste of time. Given her all she's got. Thunder, uh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, okay, cool. That thing ran me a lot, like, a lot closer than I thought, because I'm actually... That was a lot of XP. And got Basement Key, which is... What's the Basement Key for? Is that... Oh, yeah, okay. And Cosmo Memory, which... Is for red, right? Yeah. Although he's obviously not in the team at the minute, and so yeah, it's not going to help him out that much, is it? However, this, this is it. This is this is the reason. And we're going to oh, the power. The power that is within um, within this now is is too strong. Get Choco Mog in there as well. Although, what have I got it linked to? <laughs> HP plus. Okay, that's that's fine. And we've got Odin linked to, which I believe should give us death status. Yeah. So effectively, when I attack things now, there's a chance. Although, admittedly, not as not huge per se, but a chance that I can inflict instant death. He may argue that stop or slow is more reliable, and I would probably have to give it to you for that one. Uh, oh, shall we use the in? I will need to see how much it takes 
80. Oh, I don't have 80. Okay. That's quite expensive, isn't it? Hello. It's 100 gil and... Enjoy. So I'm going to nip out, I'm going to save, and then we'll go into the Shinra Mansion. I will cast off Odin a couple of times. Uh, we probably need to actually get... Well, I'll say that, but... I don't know what Cosmo Memory does. I'm going to look it up because I need to know if it's worth... Um, worth trying to get it get Red up to that point where he can, in fact, use it. Oh, it's his last one anyway. But yeah, so we'd have to sort of work towards work towards him. Um, yeah. It looks like it does a heck of a lot of damage. Actually, I never. I don't think I've ever actually used it. To be fair. are apparently better late game so I'm not gonna bother too much but let's save or we'll head back into the Shinra mansion I think we should be able to do the at least the Shinra mansion portion of it in this episode uh, I do want to go around the town and stuff and visit the people so to speak uh, which which I absolutely will do but oh, I take them down oh, it's only one pig battle isn't it oh, yeah absolutely love this summon and generally just odin in a lot of the games just badass you know very cool comes in slice everyone in half when he hits and that's it boom done uh, i do like though how even though it's obviously not as effective as maybe one would like it to be. I quite like the in Final Fantasy 9. I must rid oh, I gosh. have this, however. Move the dial on the Hojo. Dial, dial dial three. Dial four has been revealed. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care for your your notes, Hojo. I refuse. Twin Viper? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, weapon for Aerith. <laughs> Try testing my knowledge. Oh, weapon for Yuffie. Well, look, can't get them all. That's what I say. I'm also not sure how to get to that other little chest either, but. All right, that's not. We don't have to go Odin don't every get time. In my way, or <laughs> else. Although I probably would. Funny breath. Nothing fun. Oh my goodness. Well, I think nothing funny about that. Maybe I should use Odin. My goodness. You're giving me curses. That's very rude. Very rude of you. Oh, 400 damage. Ow. And to add extra insult to injury, I've also been. Uh, Silenced as well. Gosh, yeah, confusion is pretty nasty, and I guess you're sort of starting to enter that point where you where you face the very real prospect that it's like a base mob can kill you now, which I'm not best pleased um, to be perfectly honest. Oh, it's this dude. You know what? How about you meet Take my him down. meet my friend Odin? Oh, and they oh, and they have it in this game as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, you've got an instant death character, but you're not going to allow him to do instant death. Then, absolutely, you should have a physical attack instead. I'm all for that. 
I support it wholeheartedly. That was... Um, didn't, didn't get instant death off. Apparently, though, you get like a 20% chance or something. With your added effect um, materia, which I feel is pretty decent. You know. I don't feel massively correctly leveled for this area, or at least not as over leveled as I did previously. But anyway, let's go and um, meet our final member of the gang. Which is never a bad thing to say. Let's Hope give it Ifrit. Like I say, don't really want to take too many chances, so. I'm going to hit these guys with uh, moderately powered attacks. Ah, oh, yes. If we're doing the business. I've got to say, the fully expecting that amount of AP to be doing us some good. I'm not sure really what I'm trying to level up necessarily but yeah I guess I work in towards getting Thunder Agar Fire Agar I forgot that on there yeah regen as well am I that bored about doing slow and stuff I guess like, I actually might be depending on what the cost is that might be quite useful just having my arsenal um, and then obviously getting these summons up to been two uses MP plus as well, and HP plus, that would be pretty helpful. Um, yeah, Blizzardar. Fire Agar as well, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, still got some major, need some major AP for some of this, but it's to be expected. Uh, magic source, cool. Don't mind getting a source, better than getting a potion. Gonna complain. No, we got here. Oh no, it's these dastardly things. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, why can't T for you? And it was because it was before I even got hit. Which I feel is a little bit cheeky. Not, not gonna lie. All right, just the bat. Hopefully, I'm like, getting through this with just attacks. Yeah, I am happy with that. And also racking up some serious, serious gillage. Compared to where I was at the start of the episode. Anyway. All right. Okey then. Here we are. So the only real thing of interest in this particular room is this coffin here. Let's say hello. Wake me from my nightmare. <laughs> ah, Who yes. are you? Love it. See, that's more like the Sephiroth voice, but I guess that's. I don't so. believe we're acquainted. Please leave. Mm. A nightmare, eh? No wonder you're having nightmares. Mm. 
sleeping in a place like this. That's a good point. Mm. This long nightmare is my only way to atone. Atone? Nothing. It's none of your concern. Leave. You'd do well to leave this mansion. The place where the nightmare began. Yeah, Cloud knows all about that. You can say that again. You. What exactly do you know? Talk about... It's exactly like you said. This mansion is where the nightmare began. Only... I wished it was a dream, but it's all too real. This is where Sephiroth lost it. Where he found the truth of his existence. Sephiroth? You know uh, Sephiroth? You know Sephiroth? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let's go you back go first. Oh, we have to go first, do we? Okay. Now you tell us. And you'll be like, mm, no, I'm not telling and you. That's all. So, five years ago, Sephiroth discovered the secret behind his birth the Genova Project. He then went missing, oh, okay. but has recently reappeared. And he says he is seeking the promised land and left a pile of bodies in his wake. So, tell us your story. My apologies. You're terrible. <laughs> My sins are all the greater, knowing what I do now. I will no doubt be greeted with a plethora of nightmares, and the more torturous they shall be. Now, please leave. Oh, but Vincent, we want you to join us. Join us. <laughs> You're still here. Uh, yes. Who are at least tell us your name. I worked at Shinra, the General Affairs Investigation Department, also known as the Turks. <gasps> My and now we're shocked. Vincent Valentine. <laughs> the Turks? Oh, Formerly okay, yeah, of the Turks. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. And you are? Cloud Strife, formerly of Soldier. You were also with Shinra? Hmm. Then do you know Lucrezia? Who? Dr. Lucrezia Crescent. The woman who gave birth to Sephiroth. A bit before Cloud's time, gave to be fair. birth? Isn't Genova Sephiroth's mother? That is one of many myths, though it is not completely untrue. In truth, he was born to a beautiful woman. That woman was Lucrezia. She was an assistant to Professor Gast, the man responsible for the Genova Project. A human experiment? I was unable to prevent it. I was unable to dissuade her. Those are my sins. I let the woman I respected, no, the woman I loved, suffer a most terrible fate. So you sleep here to atone? That's strange. Sleepy, sleepy. A Tony, Tony. Yes, that's right. Okay. Well, we will let Vincent have a nap, and I will see what's waiting for us in the library, and then. You never know, maybe I want to join us when we come back. Also, maybe not. Hopefully so, though. And if so, Tifa, you're getting swapped out. <laughs> uh, Breath of the Earth? Okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, Aerith. you got a long way to go. Because all storms, <laughs> status ailments of all, all allies. I'd rather have a seal death, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Right, so here we are, back in the... Someone has scratched a message on the inside of the capsule. Feeding time. That's our chance. C Pro J. Someone has... Specimen A. Someone has scratched a mess. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I wonder who... Wonder who possibly could have done that, right? Here he is. Sephiroth! Supposedly. Being here brings back a lot of memory. 
memories, doesn't it? <laughs> By the way, won't you be participating in the reunion? <laughs> Join the reunion. What the hell crowd. is all this about? <laughs> Trash of ninety-seven. Holding the reunion. With the reunion, she will become the calamity from the sky. Calamity from the sky. But I thought Genova was just an ancient. <laughs> oh no. I shall proceed north over Mount Moon. If you should awaken, then follow. The reunion? Calamity from the sky? And then we get a, a Raiden-style attack, don't we, with the whole uh, flying through the air. Yep. <laughs> Destruct materia. I'm sure that was meant to thematically tell us something. But I don't, I don't know what that is. So destruct is oh yeah, breach, dispel, and death. What the heck is breach? I'm not sure. I'm unlikely to give it to anyone though, because don't know you know. I guess I could use it to stop. And actual fact, that's one of the good things that I read about like the elemental and the added effects stuff. Um, you don't have to have unlocked like the third level, for example, to be able to have the added effect of. Stop or death or whatever it is. Um, you can literally just. You literally merely need to have the materia. Oh, yes. Lovely. Um, in the slot, you know, with the relevant. Uh, 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 linked. It's not command material, is it? Modification material. The bluey, purple, lilac -y, whatever it is. Wow. Okay. This guy is a bit more intense than I remember. Although, if you're not careful, We've got to give it our all. You're going to end up seeing Cloud's Limit Break, which may not be something that you want. Let's turn it up. Okay, one of them wants magic, one of them wants physical attacks, I think is what's going on here. We shall soon see, of course. Good damage to both. Now what happens? Is that it? You just you just gonna die slowly. Oh no, Yang is Yang's happy. Okay. Get back! Oh, Yang is left alone now. That's a shame. Oh, but Yang can do with uh, magic attack as well. All right. <clears throat> Very good. Really? Okay. I thought, honestly, genuinely thought that might do it. Apparently not. Didn't tell me we're going to get another beating with some magic now as well. One of the most weird, like, because I guess because none of the motion and like expected stuff <laughs> happens in the same way with that enemy. Like, it's very slow, lethargic. You know, usually like movement saved for bosses, etc. I must. Oh, okay. Yes, it is later on. Wait. Oh, here we go. Flying through the air. If Vincent. I go with you. Will I encounter Hojo? Pretty hope so. Beats me. But we're after him in Sephiroth, so you might just get your chance. Lucrezia. Very well. I've decided to join you. That was a quick... Being a former Turk, 
you might find me useful. Absolutely. Then it's I was thinking, do I want to move Vincent in already? Because if you think about it, I probably want Tifa to walk around Nibelheim, right? So, I mean, I guess I can take Vincent. I would just have to do it for Aerith at the moment. Although, obviously, that was perhaps slight early because I'm in the basement and I still have to fight my way out of here. So, and I've not got exchange. Oh, okay, I can do it from here. I didn't realise I could, to be honest with you. Oh, I don't know. Don't ask. Right, what have we got? Restore. What else do I need to give him? I'll give him HP and MP for now. And I can link the all and time. Um, I can probably put that there, can't I? And then do I want... Do I need Ramo or Titan in a minute? So I'll leave them with Aerith. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm just... <laughs> Sounds stupid, obviously, but I didn't realise that that I could add these things in at this point. I know, it's stupid. I'm stupid. But I don't know what else to say. All I can do is agree, right? <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, what should we do? Let's just, uh, I guess we'll carry on with where we were. But still, nice to have Vincent on the team, anyway. With his little pistol. The thing about Vincent I really like as well is that he may not be the most deftly with the with the pistol. Uh, is <laughs> he may not necessarily be the most effective, but he, he uh, is a, just a very cool character, and he has very cool uh, limit breaks as well. I do really like the idea that he would have potentially had a scythe before. Like that, that to me feels maybe more Vincent than Guns, although. Admittedly, that may have made the Dirge of Cerberus a bit more difficult to construct if uh, Vincent was running around with his scythe rather than, uh, you know, having access to guns and shotguns and rifles and all the rest of it. So, yeah, no, I mean, I let him off on that one for now. Um, so... We need to come around, obviously, do some exploring of Nibelheim. But I'm going to save that for next episode. And just because I feel like a lot has happened in this particular one. Um, so I'll go around with Cloud and Tifa through Nibelheim. And then before we head off over the mountain, I'll switch Tifa out and get everything. I also really like Vincent's little um, UI photo as well. I think that's really cool. So yeah, no complaints from me. It's been quite a good episode. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.